From vegetables to egg fried rice, Henry Wanyama always has a unique recipe. One of his kitchen secrets is creativity on the plate. So the food must be appetizing. You don't want to have one stale color or just color red or color white. Just like you see the rice, if I presented it like this, there's nothing really appetizing about it. So you'd want to have something enticing. Wanyama's love for delicious food started during his childhood days. He did not have a chance to study catering because there were not many schools in Uganda to teach professional catering, but he decided to learn it by himself from books. Over the years, Wanyama has clearly mastered his recipes to become one of Uganda's finest chefs and to maintain a consistent supply for his busy kitchen. He harvests most of his fresh herbs from his backyard garden. You see how the knife is moving? You see how the knife is moving? To share his knowledge, in 2012, he started a cooking television show and later a catering school in Kampala. His teaching starts right from the farm. In our backyard, we have uh, gardens of different herbs, coriander, spring onions, celery, basil, mint, name it, we have it. So my students have a vision. So after school, when you go, if a chef sends you for parsley, you don't go to the fridge and bring a celery or basil or something. You know exactly what they sent you for, and you know the flavors and how they work together. Wanyama School has so far trained more than 100 chefs. Some of them are already working in top hotels and restaurants. I've learned knife skills, how to prepare different meals and which are beneficial to our health. Yeah, we prepare and we eat health and tasty food. And in future, I'm hoping to, to, to work with the chefs and start my own business. With the growing hospitality industry, Uganda heavily relies on foreigners to meet its demands for professional chefs. But with Wanyama's dream of expanding his school, he hopes to boost local capacity with a spice at a time. Isabel Nakiria, CGTN, in Kampala.